Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a Kylie Jenner inspired makeup look. I follow her on Instagram and she literally wears a red lip and just a nude eye all the time with winged out liner and I absolutely love it. So I figured I would do a tutorial for you guys and let's just go ahead and get started. First thing, I already moisturized my lips with this Nivea Lip Butter. I love this stuff. And then I'm going in with my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus with my Beauty Blender because Kylie always has an amazingly flawless face. So this is going to help us achieve that look. Okay, next I'm going in with my Prep and Prime Highlighter from MAC. This is in Radiant Rose. And I'm going to be applying this all underneath um, my under eye area. And I'm just going to take it back to my temples as well. And it's just going to really highlight underneath there and brighten it up. Then I'm going to take my favorite brush. This is the F86 from Sigma. I use it literally all the time and I'm going to just blend out this radiant rose underneath my eyes and this brush just really helps get a nice airbrush finish to the under eye area. It's really amazing and I can't recommend it enough. And also to top that I'm going to take the same brush with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC20 and I'm just going to top this over it just to make it look skin tone colored. I don't know. The Radiant Rose really does lighten underneath there, so I want to put a nice skin tone color on top. Then taking the same brush again and with this Makeup Forever Super Matte Loose Powder, talk about it all the time, just going to set my under eye area and my face. And I also forgot to get a clip of this, but I did go ahead and prime my eyes with my MAC Pink Pot and Soft Ochre. This is a great primer for your eyes, especially for this look, because it really just makes your eyes get a nice, flawless canvas. And I'm going to go ahead and take the brow bar to go by Whitening Lightning. And Kylie has really gorgeous, bold eyes eyebrows. Now hers are definitely more arched than mine so I kind of tried to help create that um, a little bit but you can definitely tell in her pictures when she does her eyebrows the outer half is a lot darker um, than the inner half of her eyebrow and it just looks so natural and beautiful and that's what I'm just trying to achieve here. And then this is a palette I depotted a bunch of Wet n Wild shadows in, but I'm just going to take this one specific shade, and it's just um, a little bit lighter than my natural skin tone, and I'm just going to apply this all over the lid since Kylie doesn't really put a lot of color on her lid when she does this look. And I'm going to also take Soft Brown by MAC because I just want to add a little bit more definition to my eyes, so I'm just lightly applying this to my crease, putting most of the color on the outer half. Now I'm going in with my Maybelline Master Precise, and I love this as well. Um, gives you a really nice winged out liner. And Kylie, when she does her liner, she does do the wing, but she does not bring it in all the way to the tear duct. She actually stops like right, um, I'd say about, I don't know, one third in. Like she does not go all the way to the tear duct. So you'll see, um, I'll go ahead and I do the wing, and then I stop right about, let's see, Right about here, right there is where she stops her eyeliner. So she doesn't take it all the way in. She just likes to take it in a little bit to make it look natural, but then wing the rest of it out. Now, the Jenner family is really well known for their amazing lashes. Even if they have false lashes on or just natural lashes, they have amazing lashes. So I'm just going to take the L'Oreal Telescopic Shocking Extensions and apply this all over. I do have really long lashes, so I don't have to add anything extra, but if you want to have kind of more of that natural lash that, have, that are really long and nice and full, I definitely recommend individual lashes. It will help you achieve that. Now I'm taking some of the mascara on the back of my hand, and I'm taking an eyeliner brush. Now I don't want to put eyeliner down there or eyeshadow because it's just a little too harsh, so I take just a little bit of this mascara and run it right along my lower lash line, and I get it really, really close to my waterline because I want it to look as natural as possible. And this is going to help make the lower lash line look a lot fuller, you know, than it actually is. So I love this little trick. It works really great. 
And I'm going to go ahead and take the MAC Marilyn Skin Finish and Gimme Sun. And I am going to add a little bit of definition to my face, mainly applying it in the outer parts of my face um, and where the sun would naturally hit. So that's all I'm doing with this. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and take off that lip balm. And I'm going to go ahead and take the Maybelline Lip Liner. This is in 50 Red. This is a true, true red. It is beautiful, and I love this lip liner. Now, it looks like I'm going fast when I'm doing this, but I swear it took me so long because I fast forward this part. But I'm being really careful in outlining my lips. I want it to be as sharp and as clean as possible. Um, and I really just want to be very, very careful with this step because trying to take red lip liner away or red lipstick away is a lot harder <laughs> than just taking your time and putting it on. So I am sort of shading it in too um, because I don't want to take the lipstick all the way up to the creases of my cupid's bow. So I am filling it in just a little bit. And I'm going to be taking this Wet n Wild Fergie lipstick. This is in Saragina. I'll put the name down below. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous red. Even though I think Kylie usually has a matte red, I think this one's just as great. So I'm just going to put this all over my lips. And like I said, I don't really like to take it up towards the cupid's bow because sometimes it can make it look not as sharp. So I'm going to go ahead and take an eyeliner brush with some lip product on it. And I'm really just going to shape out my lips, make sure it looks really nice and clean and it doesn't look smudgy anywhere on my lips because her lipstick looks phenomenal like just so gorgeous so making sure you get that nice sharp lip and don't forget you can always go in with concealer if you do mess up and I'm going to go ahead and take my Tarte eyelash curler so I'm just going to take this and curl my lashes just to get them nice and flared out again because I felt like they were a little droopy and Kylie's are really nice and flared out and just amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is the final look. I did add a little bit of eyeliner on my top waterline just to really make the top line look really nice and black, but that's all I did. I hope you enjoyed. This is a nice classic look, and if you try it out, send me a picture. Love you guys. Bye!